Hi everybody, in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix a beeping or buzzing hard drive and recover your data. So basically what happens inside of your drive is the heads are literally stuck to the flutters and they prevent them from spinning up when the power is applied. This beeping sound is coming from this motor not being able to spin. This usually happens due to mechanical shock or power loss during its operation. Ok, so let's get started. For this project you'll need a proper set of screwdrivers. You can buy a simple one or a serious professional kit like this, the link's in the description. Before we go any further, I want to point out that this process should only be done by an expert in a clean room environment. So if you have on your hard drive very important and valuable data, think twice before starting the disassembly process. Anyways, I've never had any problems dealing with it. As long as you're careful, you should be fine. So, try to minimize or prevent dust contact with the drive splatters. You can work inside of a new big plastic bag, like so, or under the range hood. First of all, we need to clean dust out of the drive. You can use compressed air or baby wipes. Next, we need to remove all the screws. And there's usually one screw hidden under the label, right here. Once all the screws are removed, you can remove the lid of the drive. As you can see, the heads are stuck in the middle of platters. Normally, when the drive is off, they should be parked on this ramp. So, what you need to do next is grab your screwdriver, put it on the screw, and very gently twist it counterclockwise. And at the same time, push the headstock assembly back into its parking position. Like so, it should be done in one motion. If you see that something is sticking out over here or maybe bent or falling apart, in that case don't even try to turn on your drive, because the broken heads will damage the platters and you will lose your data forever. So in that case you need to find the same hard drive and swap the head assembly. Alright, so if you see any dust on the platters, you have to clean it using compressed air or rubber air blower. And the last thing we need to do is put the top cover back on the hard drive and screw it down. Let's see if this thing comes to life. Okay, the moment of truth. It sounds good, the motor is spinning. Finally, we need to back up some data, and do it real quick, because you never know how long it's going to last. Here's a new drive, and as you can see I got access to its file system. So I need to copy some folders from the desktop. It works slowly, but anyway it does what has to. So thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.